He's pick Dude, he's got it. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. That's a cool good dog. So we're gonna go check out some garage sales today. It looks like there's a block sale down here. It is Saturday morning, about nine o'clock. A little bit of a late start. There we go, we got one over here. Got one to the left. Another one over here. Another one over here. Let me give you 40 for that. How much is the cowboy helmet? That's a replica helmet, right? The rep yeah, it's like one for the play. Yeah. No, oh, it's 70. 70. Yeah, yeah these are both good picks right there. Oh, yeah. I totally get because that. Because all of these things were purchased with good intention. Yeah. Like, oh, we're going to use oh, it for this. Yes. We're going to do that. that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, guys, check these out. We just went to about seven garage sales in this facility of about four blocks. This thing, I had no idea what it was until I looked it up. And it has, it's a Sony dog. Brand new, they retail for like three grand, 3,500. Used, they're about 1,400. One sold for 1,400, one sold for 1,700. And I kind of pieced together the accessories. They're all in this bag here. There's like a little ball. Oh, this is the dock. Charging dock. When you, anytime you see Sony, like I said, the quality and there's a lot of Sony collectors. I'm stoked about this. I paid basically like 100 bucks for everything here. And top it all off as a throw-in. Where is this guy? Over here. Put on my car. There's another dog. Huh, but it's kind of beat up. It is Sony. It looks like it's an older model. So I need to look this up. He's missing one ear. The guy gave me an ear. I don't know how to charge it. Um, we'll figure it out when we get home. Some good stuff here. So I'm looking at least a thousand bucks just in this stuff. This Sony stuff. And then there's a bag of goodies. Some more controllers. Some radio players. Oh, I picked up a... Uh, I just pick these up. Let me see here. Pick these up for a buck. It's a sapphire Pokemon without the logo, so it's legit. And Pokemon Pikachu. Some Waterman pens. This thing's like 50 to 80 bucks. Got this for two bucks. Man. Some days you just don't know what you're gonna find. This was a throw-in. This is like a 10, 15 dollar mouse for free. So we'll go and do a recap. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, this week's gaming finds. Not a whole lot here, as you can tell, but I only spent seven bucks on everything here. So just want to do a quick uh, review. Dreamcast controller for Sega Dreamcast. That should sell pretty easily for 10 to 15. A PS4, DualShock 4, blue controller in good condition. Easily should get 30 bucks on Mercari. This was a throw-in. It's a gaming mouse. They go for about 10, eight to 10 bucks. So. That's a freebie there that I got. Then you got a Pokemon Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color game. And then this is a Sapphire Blue Pokemon game without the logo. It's all original. Um, and then those will easily sell on Mercari. And then just two GameCube. Uh, I found these in kind of a like a 50 cent box. Got both of them for a dollar. And it's uh, just two GameCube memory cards. One is a Hip Gear. Which all right guys this is a pretty amazing find this is a sony robot dog because you can hear him playing music i turned them on um i paid 100 bucks for these two guys this is an older model here we'll start off with i don't have the charging dock but it's pretty much 
all there. Um, for parts, these sell for about 300 bucks online. One sold for about 320 I, I, when I checked it. So I have one here that I haven't, I'm not able to test, but I'll at least get 320, I would imagine maybe more. This guy is a more modern guy. This is a robot dog, he's turning on. Um, one sold for $1,400 with the accessories. The only thing I'm missing is there's another piece to this. It's kind of like a mat that has the same texture. Other than that, I've got everything else. So I'm probably gonna ask around the same price. So paying $100 for these two, I think I'm gonna get at least $1,500 for the two. This is definitely one of the bigger finds of the week, uh, of, the, of the year, I would, I would say. Originally, I didn't know what this was. I thought it was just one of those cheap kind of, you know, electronic dogs or you know that you see in the stores for like you know 15 20 bucks but because i saw the sony brand you can kind of see that on there uh, on there anytime i see sony i always want to check it out so he's getting warmed up i played around with him he works perfect i wanted to test it out before i did a video on him but his name's ibo it's a-i-b-o and here's the sony guy his model number is ers 7m2 he basically, you can program him to do functions as a, like a dog where he'll sit, he'll, you know, kind of uh, play with his toys. Uh, he's moody. He, you know, can, you know, give you attitude. <laughs> hey, Ibo. Good boy. So you can see him kind of getting excited there. But he's still on the charging dock. I wanted to just kind of do a quick video. Maybe I'll uh, take him out of here and see what happens. Let's see. I'm sorry about that. Oops, he's stuck, that's why. Let's see what happens here. Hey, Ibo. Good boy. He's getting ready. All right, here he comes. <laughs> but it's just like a little pet dog. Good boy. He's like dancing and waking up maybe. You can pet him. And he reacts to your petting. Like, at his belly. Good boy, Ibo. Too cute. There's certain functions. See, he gets, he waves. To certain functions. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video. He does work good. One sold for $1,400 and one sold for $1,700. Um, and the only thing that's different that I don't have is the other part to this, but otherwise the robot, the functionality, the charging dock, um, the accessories are all there. So I should, I should fetch at least 1200, I would imagine. Um, uh, we'll see how it goes. I might put it up there for 15 to 1700 and see what kind of reaction we get. All right, here we have some Polaroid cameras. So I found all of these Saturday morning, four Polaroid cameras and a Sony player. I'll go over these here. Um, you know, every weekend you don't know what you're gonna find and Polaroid cameras sell really well for me on Mercari. I mean, they'll sell within a day or two, sometimes quicker. So finding four of them, I paid basically five bucks a pop for each one, so 20 bucks. And then this Sony device I paid five bucks for. This Polaroid camera is a Spectra QPS. It comes with this original case. So anytime you have the accessories, and the bag actually, Polaroid Spectra bag. So that's gonna help the value there. I'm thinking probably 35 to 40 bucks on Mercari. Uh, anytime you have the accessories or the boxes or manuals, they help the value, the resale value of these items. This is a Polaroid One Step. I've sold many of these on Mercari for about 25, 30 bucks. This is a vintage One Step from the late 70s. Really cool design, really good shape. These go for easy 30 bucks on Mercari, if not more. This is a Pronto land camera very similar to this one but what's cool about this is it has the original box missing one part but still anytime you have the original accessories or the box packaging has the manual that's an easy 30 35 bucks on Mercari so just say 30 bucks a pop that's 120 bucks on $20 purchase of four Polaroid cameras uh, on the low end that should definitely sell now this Sony device I picked one up last week if you watch my video MZR55. 
The only thing that's missing is the battery pack, but it still works. I plugged it in um, with the power, uh, universal power source. So it does work. I sold the last one for 60 bucks. So this one I'm gonna ask 50 bucks for. It sold pretty quickly. So I got that for five bucks. So another cool device I found. All right, more weekend finds here this Saturday. We got some new items in the package. For all these items here, I spent $67 and we'll go through them. These I'm gonna to bring to the toy show, which is in about three weeks from now. And again, like I said, I'm gonna do a video from the toy show of the stuff that I found garage sale hunting and reselling at the actual toy con. So these are from 2007. They're Mr. Potato Head Star Wars figures. They had other ones, but they were asking 10 bucks a piece. And these are the ones that as far as value and resale, I can probably get 25 bucks to 30 bucks a piece. With the Han Solo, this one goes for 35, 40 bucks online. Darth Maul goes for 25 bucks, 30 bucks, and then Boba Fett, 25, 30 bucks. So they were really firm on this. I couldn't get these for under 10 bucks. So I'll bring them to the show selling so for, you know, at least 25 bucks. Should at least double my money on those. Magic Trackpad from Apple. This is actually new in the package, never opened. She paid 20 bucks for this. They were asking 50, and I got them down to 20. So this is the easy 50, 60 dollar sale on Mercari. And then this Optivisor, this was at one of the sales, I got it for two bucks. They go for like 25, 30 bucks. Brand new in the package, never used. Um, just because it's new, you know, it's gonna definitely resell. Some more perfume, perfume always does well. This is new, Roca's brand. This is, um, let's see, Estee Lauder. This goes for about 50 bucks online. I got all three of these for five bucks. So I got this brand, that's brand new, the Estee Lauder, and then this is uh, not perfume, but it's a Ralph Lauren candle that goes for about 25, 30 bucks. So that's a good find there. Those will sell on Poshmark. This is a Waterman pen, if you know about pens. Uh, these type of pens are like 80, 90 bucks. Oops. So it's all there with the pen and the paperwork. I should get at least 70 bucks for this. I paid two bucks for the pens. And then there was a Gucci pen. That's a vintage pen. Uh, I should probably get 25 bucks for that. So, good find on all these items. All right, here's some more valuables that we found this weekend. Paid a total of $40 for these three items. First, we'll start here, and this is basically what it says for you football, sports collectible, autograph collectible fans out there. 1996 team signed 49ers football. There's about 45 signatures on this ball. Um, the key signatures on this is Jerry Rice, Steve Young, and there's a Terrell Owens signature right here. But what's cool about this is these team balls, you can only get, if you know a little bit about sports, um, I know the 49ers uh, local team here, this particular ball, you could only get through the team. They basically sign a bunch of these. I found this at a garage sale, and I didn't really bother about negotiating on the price because this ball alone will probably fetch 250 bucks. I'm gonna bring this to the toy show. There's a lot of, actually not a lot, but there's a few people that buy sports memorabilia at these toy cons comic cons and i have a particular customer um that i think would buy this so um well again we're going to film there when we uh, it's in two weeks on june 2nd and 3rd so that would be cool but we'll see how that goes too when we get out there i'll have all this displayed but it's a nice case for being 22 years old the ball's in great condition the signatures are pretty clear it's not smudged um, it's not stained it's an NFL white panel football signed by the 49ers 1996 team it's not a Super Bowl team but it's still complete with three Hall of Famers on there so that should fetch about 250 next we have two amps I paid five bucks a piece for these this is a Fender Mustang Mini this goes for about 50 to 60 bucks and then this is it's not two parts, but there's two amps here. I'll take this off. This is a PV base amp, model Max 158. Look these up. They go for about 100 bucks. So scored on these two, you got about, say, 200 on the low end. Say 100, that's 300. And then just say 50 bucks here for this bad boy. So 350 here and paid a total of 40 bucks for these three items.